Welcome to the Beyond Podcast. Glad to be here. We've got a uh, really fascinating cosmic puzzle for you today. It involves this mysterious object that sort of popped up near Earth. Yeah, it definitely caused a bit of a stir at first. Astronomers were wondering, you know, could this be a new mini-moon, something captured by Earth's gravity? Or just another asteroid passing through. Exactly. Maybe just a, uh, a run-of-the-mill space rock. But then Paul Choda, he's NASA's lead asteroid expert, looked at its path, its orbit around the sun, mm -hmm. and something seemed off. Mm -hmm. It wasn't quite behaving like you'd expect a natural rock to behave. Yeah. Okay, so let's unpack this. What did they actually see? Right. So this thing was initially called Asteroid 2020 CD3. Okay. And it was spotted by Kapper Ruchix and Teddy Prune. They're astronomers with the uh, Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona. It's NASA funded, looking for near Earth objects. Gotcha. And how big was this object? Uh, pretty small, actually. They estimated maybe two to three meters across, so roughly the size of a car. Okay, so not massive. And we do know Earth occasionally grabs these little mini moons, right? Temporary companions. We do. There's probably at least one orbiting us most of the time, but they're usually so tiny, they just, well, they go unnoticed. Right, they slip through the net. Exactly. But here's where it gets really interesting. Paul Choda analyzed its journey, its specific trajectory around the sun, mm -hmm. and the way it was moving, the orbit, it felt artificial. It didn't look like something nature would produce. He basically ruled out it being a natural asteroid. Artificial. Wow. Okay. That's that's quite a leap. So if it's not a mini moon, not a typical asteroid, mm -hmm. what did he figure it out to be? Well, his theory is uh, pretty remarkable. He believes it's actually a piece of space history. Go on. He thinks it's the upper stage of the Centaur rocket, the one that launched NASA's Surveyor lander towards the moon. Wait, the Surveyor? from way back in 1966. That's the one 54 years ago. Wow. So a piece of hardware from the 60s just mm. showed up again. I remember that mission. Didn't the lander itself have problems? Yeah. A thruster issue. That's right. Sadly, it did. The Surveyor lander ended up crashing on the moon because of that thruster failure. Huh? But the Centaur rocket stage, its job was done after the push towards the moon. It just continued on its path, swung past the moon, and went into its own orbit around the sun. So it became space junk. Lost to time, essentially. Pretty much. Just floating out there for over half a century. Until it loops back around and gets spotted by astronomers thinking it's a brand new discovery. Exactly. An unexpected rediscovery of this uh, relic. That is an incredible story. So what seemed like a new celestial visitor was actually... You know, a ghost from our own space exploration past. It's a pretty neat piece of detective work tying its orbit back like that. Absolutely. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? What other bits and pieces from our uh, early adventures beyond Earth might still be orbiting out there? Forgotten pieces of history may be waiting for their own surprise reappearance. Hmm. Something to think about. Well, that's all the time we have for this deep dive. It flew by. It did. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come on the Beyond Podcast.